Hello students, in my previous video I have done or uh, the reactions based on Lucas reagent. I, I we have uh, written or we have ruled out, like, we have made a table saying that tertiary alcohol is more preferred than secondary, secondary more preferred than primary. Now we are going to see one more reaction which is related to the Lucas reagent. So in your board paper a question will be given stating thus you will be given predict the products of the following or you will be given a reaction you are supposed to write the reaction mechanism so before going to that particular question let us recollect yesterday's video and just let us write that always remember in Lucas reagent whenever Lucas reagent is acting on the compound whichever is given to us important tertiary is more preferred than secondary more preferred than primary I have to remember on that basis and then start doing the mechanism so in this particular question <coughs> a compound is given to me and HCl is just mentioned anhydrous ZnCl2 that's understood it is there in the reaction so how should I start my reaction mechanism careful whichever compound is given to you first you're going to write as a subheading reaction mechanism and start mentioning step by step one after the other till your nucleophile or uh, other particular compound is completely eliminated and a new nucleophile is introduced now in this particular compound as we said lucas reagent is or it's going to act on alcohols isn't it that is what we have studied yesterday so remember this particular carbon this is the alcohol which is given so I have not mentioned it earlier so that it is clear for me to explain now pick up this particular alcohol and start doing the mechanism in, in first step what's going to happen in step one there is cleavage in HCl molecule so when there's cleavage in HCl molecule this attains positive this again negative charge so I'm going to pick up this particular H plus just observe it carefully this is the point where your Cl minus is going to get exchanged. This is one nucleophile of alcohol and this is a Cl which is going to get exchanged. So let us see. So I am going to write the same again. CH3, C, CH3, CH3, CH, OH, CH3 plus H plus. Let us take the Cl in the next step. Now this is a point as we said 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. All the 8 electrons are satisfied. Now, this particular 8 electrons, this oxygen is going to share with this H+. When oxygen is going to share with this H+, how does this compound look now? So, it is CH3, C, CH3, again CH3. Now, this is your CH and we have given out this oxygen has given a pair of electrons to this so this becomes OH2 and your CH3 this is done now what happened the difference between this and this in this particular case there was one two three four yeah this pair is donated to this so what's going to happen only one or two will be left here and this attains a positive charge isn't it because this is already shared a pair of electrons with your hydrogen now this step is complete now till now i've not taken any cl2 in step two what am i going to do now yeah the this I'm going to concentrate on this because this is where your Cl is going to come and get exchanged. So write the same thing again. CH3, C, CH3, CH3, CH, your OH2 plus two electrons and your CH3. Now, in this particular step, there is release of water, water molecule. As I said, in Lucas reagent, there is release of water molecule with anhydrous ZnCl2 along with HCl is added. This is what is going to happen. So, on the arrow, first, there is release of water molecule. When there is release of water molecule, what is going to happen to this particular carbon? Because this has lost this part of the bond, this is going to attain a positive charge. So, how does it look? CH3, I am writing the CH3 now I'm going to pick up this carbon here there are two methyl groups one here and one more methyl group here that's also done now I have to come to this step yes now already I said this minus water molecule so this CH 
or this C will attain a positive charge. Why did it attain a positive charge? Because it has lost a pair or it has lost a bond and water has been deleted from the molecule. So CH plus and your CH3. This step is also done. Careful in your this is your step 2. Now in your step 3 when you are writing your step 3 most important this is what is you have to remember shift to satisfy this positive charge there is shift of methyl group to this particular carbon so what am i going to write i'm going to take that ch3 c ch3 and your ch3 here and c h plus plus and ch3 careful this methyl group is going to shift here why am i doing that i'll explain it in the next step so i'm going to shift this particular uh, methyl group how does this look ch3 done and i have this carbon now there is one methyl group on the top this is also done because this has lost a part or it has lost a pair of ch3 or it has lost the ch3 or ch3 shifted from here this becomes a positive charge now so how does this look now c it is h now this has shifted to this point ch3 and ch3 now what type of carbocation is this just look at this concentrate carbon with no hydrogens is a tertiary carbocation isn't it carbon with one methyl group one methyl group and alkyl group so it doesn't have any hydrogen so the most important thing is this particular is a tertiary carbocation remember as i said tertiary carbocation is the most stable one that is the reason in lucas test tertiary reacts faster than secondary faster than primary now i've got this tertiary carbocation so i have to be very careful and write most stable form to this tertiary carbocation your cl minus is existing isn't it i have to exchange this nucleophile now in your next step your <coughs> cl minus is going to attack this molecule the cl minus from here it's going to attack this molecule simple as that so what happened oh was here because of the shift of this this has attained tertiary carbocation now i'm going to write the mechanism again compound again ch3 done hyphen c done your CH3 is here done because you have to show that tertiary formation carbocation that's important in Lucas test and what happened now because this plus and this Cl minus so Cl minus has come and occupied this compound this carbon again this is one more and your H and one more CH3 and one more CH3 this is your compound final compound very very important so when such particular question is given to you understand carefully what are you supposed to do what is it expecting you to show the nucleophilic substitution reaction what 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 mechanism is it asking us to do so try to put every step step one important formation or <coughs> protonation step two important release of water molecule step three important formation of tertiary carbocation if i write this as step four attack of cl minus as a nucleophile to form the final product so you're going to write this and copy the same product here so what product will you write here ch3 done copy the same careful don't write one product here and one product here you should be very careful in writing the products ch3 cl is done then attack then c then hydrogen here ch3 here and ch3 here this is your final product so this will be given for you as a three marks question be very careful in writing thank you for watching